So, yep. All right, so you guys have a plan? No, you're still figuring it out, aren't you? That's fine. That's fine. It's all good. My I'd part rather of the plan? not rush you guys and have a plan that you're happy with than rush you guys and you guys feel like you're rushed. Oh, my God. Inferno, your words today. <laughs> my part of the plan is I'm just going to move up yeah. with my fire sword. So, so, uh, so the idea is you guys want to just engage him here in this, mm -hmm. in this little yeah. gap. Okay. Yeah. Uh, right. Actually, wait, 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 wait. To be fair, we want to try and engage them where the the maximum number of us can hit the minimum number of them. I.e., the idea is ideally three or four of us can attack two of them. If that makes sense, like it would not be advantageous for us. It's to fight all about two on just two. positioning. Exactly. Yeah. But the, but the problem is, it's now. Here's the thing: they're going to be emerging from this dirt. Like this is not a, a nice, neat little wall here anymore. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, it's just a, a mound of dirt. So it depends on where they poke through, right? Right. Uh, well, my suggestion, guys, is that we line up kind of like, um, like basically here, the first spot that's wide enough for say three or four of us to line up, and mm -hmm. just wait for them to come at us. They can only come at us like two at a time. And we okay. should be yeah. able to get double the hits on them that they can get on us. All right. Okay. Um, I guess first wave, I'll blind them, then we'll go at it, and then we'll see where that goes. Yeah. And we have, like, weapons and positions to hit. I think that's a well enough plan for a battle tactic. Yeah. Yeah. Okie dokie. Are, are so, you in agreement, Kriana? Yo! Yeah! Hi! Mm -hmm. Hi! Whatever okay. works. I Oops. regret making so many squares. Oh, good. I don't regret it anymore. <laughs> I regret nothing. Oh, I wish I could draw a line. Oh, wait, there's freehand. There's oh, there freehand. Well, then. That's hey. why I made my squiggly spear. Who's okay. doing that? <laughs> I don't know. Who's I don't know who's doing that. Curved line. <laughs> <laughs> don't show up, God. Don't show up, God. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Very particular about my freehand <laughs> lines. Look, now they're shaded. Oh, That's great. the right term, right? It's shaded. He's going in his high wrath voice. It's now too I'm gonna late. highlight it. There, it's perfect. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Anyway. All right. We're gonna resume combat now, guys. No. Okay. So I am going to let you guys set up. Mm -hmm. We start the combat with bear. So all Bear's action is, where do you want him? <laughs> well, just in the back to kind of, uh, just to get ready to switch places with one of you guys if you seem to be hurt. Yeah, yeah. that would work. Same thing with Alicia. Yeah. yeah Same uh, thing with Mila. Well, Patrick, what are you going to be uh, fighting with? Um. Well, uh, I do have some magic, and I have a gun. <laughs> right, so it would you like? Would you be the most effective on the front line or in the back row? Uh, if I want to hit something, the front line. Right. Okay. All right. Then, um, yeah, I think the three of us and the other three are ready to replace us. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I'm not good with the whole stabbing thing. I just need to know that. All right. Okay. So, uh, starting combat again, Mariah. Uh, you're good to just um. Hang back for now. Cool. Until you're needed. Yeah. yeah. All right. Hey, it's the Max Perry's. So. The blind ones aren't going to go. They can't see anything. But these guys. You start to see. Now, you see their uh, claws and heads poking out of the ground. Um, it's clear that they're not tunneling directly where the cave-in is. They're also t tunneling around it. So they are, they start emerging from that area. So beyond the line, you can see their heads poking through the dirt, shaking side to side. Soon their hands are pushing through, covered in this black, muddy earth. Uh, but you're, uh, they spend their turn digging through to that point, uh, and you see enough of them to uh, attack on your turns. So that is them. Tom! All right. Uh, I I don't see its chest at all. Correct? No. Yeah, you see heads and arms. Okay. Um, I am going to try and do a thrust through its head. Okay. Okay. 
try, trying to, you know, just go lengthwise across its body to hopefully get at its brain. You know what I mean? Patrick, did you tell them where their brains are? It's in their chest. <laughs> I think. Yep. Uh, yeah, I thought he mentioned that in the last yeah, place. He did. So, Tom, if you're hitting in its head and you said hopefully to get to its brain. Yeah, but... My sword is is my sword longer than its body? Oh, so like, it you mean through, through the, the neck into the torso? You through mean the neck from into the torso? The yeah, the crown of the head in, yes. into the. Oh, yes. okay. All right. He's trying to make I a scarecrow. Gotcha. Yeah. <laughs> I, I sorry. I just thought I, I was thinking a different type of slash. All right. Anyways, roll a hit first. Let's 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 go from there. All right. <laughs> and then so. I'm going to curve the blade. <laughs> you now have the WP sword skill now, thanks to your level up. I do. So all your training has paid off to this point. Yes, it has. Oh, it has. Yeah. Uh, it's not. Remember, flaming sword. My rule. They're not parrying that because yep. the flames just hit it anyway. So uh, roll that damage. Four d six. Um, do I add my plus damage? Nope. That's only for okay. SDC combat because you are an SDC creature. Ten. Yeah. All right. Um, you manage to pierce it inside of its head, creating a sickening crunch, but the blow is not hard enough to go all the way delve through its neck and into its torso, but you wound its head quite a bit, uh, awesome. causing this yellow blood to gush out instantly. Um, what is it? Uh, oh, what happens when evaporated by your mm. the flames on your sword? There we go. All right, Inferno, stop being a description pants and keep going. Bears holding. Patrick. Uh, well, their heads are out. Um, yep. I'm going to yell out very clearly, "Pineapple!" And so going everyone's to hold... going to be able to close their eyes. Yep. And hold up my hand towards them and say, um, "I think it was starstruck." That's what it was. Great. So, since you said pineapple, I'm going to say everyone knows to close their freaking eyes, unless for whatever reason you guys don't want him, them to. As you... Um, now, let me just think here. What did I do for that? Their eyes... Yeah, roll me 1d4. Hey, this is perfect. Now you're syncing up with the other guys. <laughs> Excellent. Because they spent six melees for them to dig through, so the guys in the back are still kind of, you know, stunned and shit. Mm. So, and they were, had two rounds left, and I don't know, it just worked out really, really, really well. So, yes, they, uh, well, you see their, their beady black eyes blink a little bit from the uh, bright light. You'll see what happens to them on their turn, but spoiler alert, you blinded them. All right, Alicia's hanging tough. Ow. Um, real quick, because this matters for my world strike. These bracers do not count as knives. They are actually a different class of weapon, right? Eh, uh, no, nah, not really. Well, okay. I'm going to count them as knives. Oh, all right then. Uh, I am going to. I believe do... I said that in the description. If you had WP knife, because that's what like if you had the bionic claw things, like the Wolverine mm -hmm. claws. That counts as WP knife, oh. so why not oh. these guys? Oh, good. That's even better. It's so a small I'm, blade at the end of your hand. <laughs> I'm going Principal to make thing. a uh, parrot attack at um, the closest one's eyes. So, like, I'm going to roll the strike at one, and then I'll wait to see if I need to roll the strike at the same eye. or. Whatnot. Oh, well, so so you're going to be, um, not, until your next turn, you're fine not parrying then, right? Correct. You're doing a full-out attack? Mm -hmm. All right. Then roll a strike. So, uh, rolling... Da, da, da. Okay. All right. Uh, the one he is gonna try parry. Ty goes the defender, homie. Alrighty, then he's going to strike with the other one. Now hold up. Hmm? Um, you're attacking the eye. Yes. It's still a minus nine to hit. Right. I don't know why I didn't think that. All right. Okay. Uh, that's okay because the first one missed and it was a parry anyway, so that's right. fine. It's no big deal. Right. So. Okay. Oh, Still. Okay. Oh, yeah. There you go. 
Uh, he'll try to parry. Why not? <laughs> no. All right, roll damage. All right, uh, that is 2d4. Six. Yeah, that's enough to scrape the eye out of the skull-like uh, head plate. Uh, we'll say it's the left eye, too. Oh, wait, wrong guy. I seem to have a thing for the yes. left eye. Sure. That's sure. how they know they met me. Uh-huh. <laughs> like that witchling? All right, anyway, uh, that was your turn. Alicia's hanging tight. So is Mariah. Uh, when I get to your turns, guys, uh, like Mariah or Alicia or Bear, if you want to do something else other than waiting, let me know. Max Perry! Perry, Max Perry. All right, so they now fully emerge from the Earth, so now their chests and whatnot can be seen as two attack. Al, and one attacks Tom. And uh, first one on Tom. Uh, that's enough to hit the main body. Mm -hmm. get any... uh, oh, sorry, do you want to take a defensive action before you might take that six damage? Yeah, I, I, I would like to Oh, yeah, try you can parry, parry with your... Sweet, do it. Yeah! Sorry, I got too eager. Five. Five. Uh-huh. Yeah. I know the penalties. I forgot the minus eight. It missed anyway. Okay. I, I realized that while he was rolling. I'm like, ah, I'll have him roll the dice still because it's fun. Okay. All right. So now I have to roll the 20 minus eight Inferno on these two attacks at Al. Whoa, that's still a miss because you need a five or higher, and that's also a miss. So they miss you. They whiff. All right. Uh, they clearly cannot see. Thanks for the reminder there, Patrick, although I caught myself... Almost too late. Uh, Mariah, you're still good uh, holding back? Yes. Yes, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Ow. All right. Um, I'm going to claw for the other eye, the right one. Okay. Uh, hmm? May I make a suggestion? Mm -hmm. uh, since their chests are exposed, should that be number one priority? Uh, yeah, okay. That will be number one priority. Going for the chest. Mm -hmm. All right, so first attack is uh, nothing. Okay, yes. Oh, uh, unless you want to do your second attack and not have a parry? Yeah, sure, sure. Do that. Oh, critical. All right, roll me uh, double damage. All right, then I will just do 4d4. Nine. Okay, okay. okay. Blah. It's not bad. Uh, you you um, managed to the magical claws themselves actually managed to dislodge a few chunks of the chitinous armor of its heavily armored chest. You're making good headway, Tommy Tom. Your turn. All right. Uh, I am going to try and strike at its chest this time. Okay. All righty. Is it in aimed? No. No, it, it's its main body, right? So you're yeah. all good. Okay. Twelve. I can't parry, so roll damage. All right. Thirteen. Okay. Uh, you managed to hew through. Uh, you don't manage to embed your sword into its chest, right? But you mm -hmm. managed to slash and poke through uh, and start to create an a, a, a opening and a hole in between two chest plates. Okay. Okay. So that's and, that. Uh huh. Um, the fire sword will um, dissipate. Okay. Yeah. All righty. Max Perry time. Uh, they're going to continue massively attack the targets that were in front of them before they were, you know, blinded. So, Tom, it's, hey, they hit you. All right. So, yay. You can't. I mean, it's just an automatic hit, right? You yeah. can choose to burn attack and roll with the punch. Do you want to do that? Ooh. Nah, I'll just take it. Okay, six points of damage. Okay. And ow. They miss you. Whew. All right. Now it's your turn again. All right. Uh, well, 
going for the chest. So, the first attack. 11. Okay, that's, uh, it will try to parry at a minus 8 because it's free. Nope. Okay, so that is 2d4. I'm assuming you're still wailing on the one with the wounded eye, right? Yes, yes. Okay. Wailing like a uh, air guitar. Eight points. <laughs> wow, excellent. Uh, you dislodge a complete plate uh, as, uh, as some of it falls into your hand. You feel that despite its strength, it itself is quite spongy. It looks like uh, uh, you just catch a glance at it, but it looks like it's, it's, it's plating. On the side, it has like a honeycomb type of design with it. Is there, Go ahead and roll it. Mm -hmm. Is there any way to make like a call shot to aim for that spot I just opened up? It's rifts. Anything's possible. Just hit a cult shot and uh, it, it, uh, it, give you some sort of bonus. Is it in the area at the center of the chest? Yes. Okay. Then I am going to try and uh, stab my other attack directly into the spot I just opened up. Okay. So... Uh, yeah, okay, sorry, I was, I should have said there's a, a, a minor penalty, but sure, it was only just... going to be a minus two, so okay. it's still enough to hit it. Mm -hmm. So, uh, we're going to add 50% of your damage, so roll 3d4. Okay. Six. Okay. You are making a very large hole into its chest. A couple good blows like that, and, uh, you'll get right to its supposed brain. You hope. You think? I hope Patrick knows what he's talking about. Work All with right. me, guy. Come on. We can All do right. this together. Okay. Bear's passing. Mariah's still good in the back. Tom. You're um, muted, Tom. I will. Okay, yeah, I'm muted. Um, I will alight the sword and go for an attack. Okay. So let me just make sure that I mark off this. And I will attack. Again, going for the chest. 25. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Roll them damages. 16. Ooh. Okay. Another sickening crunch as your sword starts. It does pierce in two its chest. Uh, and although the creature gives a... Urgh, it's not. It's still moving. It's still woozy. It's blind. It's stunned. It hasn't dropped dead just yet. But mm -hmm. uh, it feels like that blow was very, very close. Maybe you're only off by a few inches. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right, Patrick. Um, these guys seem to be very much engaged and um, firing even magic into that would probably not be the best idea. Um... I'm going to switch with whoever wants to step forward. Hey, how about, how about Mariah, since she's a player character? Is that cool by you with you, Kriana? Yeah! Alright, so I'll burn up your next... Actually, your turn that you passed, we're going to burn that with Patrick, because you moved at the same initiative. That's a paired attack, and you switch her up. I'll call on you on your next turns. Groovy? Cool. Okay. <laughs> Bear Al. I'm making me a stew in his chest. All right. Um, uh huh. Sure you are. So same thing. Call chest. So minus two, correct? Yeah, minus two. All right. So this is the first attack. Yep, that hits. All right. Seven. Okay. And next attack. Still kicking just a little bit. Digging right. for so brain. That's a miss. Okay, that's enough to hit him. Mm -hmm. But just not that area. As he tries to parry and fails. So just regular fail 2d4. Fail parry. More like fail parry. Yeah, roll me another 2d4. Seven again. Ha ha ha. Okay. So your combined slashes is enough that you're able to pry open the remaining chitinous plate. And you see underneath gushing yellow blood coating the gauntlet and uh, the hands of your armor and even up your arms a little bit and you see a swelling gray-blue matter. You slash at it with your golden claws and after and as soon as you even nick that area, 
the Max Perry freezes and falls back into the earth pile dead. Okay. Okay. That's one down. <laughs> he says, putting air quotations. <laughs> down. All right. And now it's their turn. Uh, well, they know one thing, and that's, you know, how to be Max Perry's. Oh, wow, he hit, the green guy hit you, Al. Would you like to, oh, you can't. You did a double attack. I did so a double attack. you're going to take uh, a whole two points of damage. <laughs> and Tomothy, that is a miss. As it okay. blindly swings at you, you know, squeezing into its chest. Tom. All right. I am going to try and just um, shove the sword deeper into its chest. Yeah. All right. Going Roll for the him. brain. Roll that hit. Go for the brain. All right. Good stuff. Roll damage. Boom. 14. Your old bear blade pierces its hide again. You're able to hear a squish as this time you're, you can feel uh, through the hilt of your blade find purchase in something a little bit harder than the guts that you've been pushing through. And once again, the Max Perry gives a small as its eyes glaze over, its stunned eyes glaze over, and it dies. Uh, it, gives you a f it takes you a few times to tug the sword free from it. Uh, if you choose to, but it also falls back on the earth in which it emerged. Mm -hmm. Okay. Patrick. Um, I'm just going to chill out, and uh, if anybody wants to do any sort of actions with me, I'm willing to do that. I'm going to basically okay. do what Mila did. Gotcha. Okay. Bears doing the same. M Mariah. There is one um, Max Perry that's still alive that's uh, in front of you. Okay, I guess I'll just hit him with my hammer. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Roll a D100, Mila. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> you silly, you know it's a D20, and it, it didn't happen. Okay. Okay, all right. I'm a silly. Um, now roll D20 to strike. Okay. I have this macro here. Oh, you have a macro. Delicious, I just delicious. Gotta macro. remember what my hit thing is on my hammer. I think it's, it's a, a seven. Yes. It's a seven. Okay. Wait. Good stuff. Uh it will try and parry at a minus eight. Failing. So you do nine points of damage to it. Excellent. <laughs> Cracking some of its uh, plating. Natural plating. All right, Al. Um, this is going to sound a little gruesome, but I want to rip out the brain. Okay. Uh, do, I don't Roll know. me a paramedic check. <laughs> Got it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Never quite um, thought it would be used like that, but yeah. It's yeah. There you go. Uh, you said you wanted to heal more. <laughs> I know. Mm -hmm. Yeah. This is kind of like healing, but not. <laughs> I just have this image of like Temple of Doom, just holding out Kali Ma. <laughs> yeah. Um. So. Uh, you don't get the whole brain. Mm -hmm. You managed to take out. I would say about. Three handfuls of this bluey gray gunky mess that is separate from the gushing yellow blood that uh, the torso of this thing contains. Uh, and you feel in your turn you've you've gotten if if that was its brain, you you scooped out a fuck ton of it. <laughs> All right, Tom, your turn. <laughs> All right, now this is gonna sound gruesome. Uh-huh. But I want to start hacking its arms off. Okay. Uh, roll me, uh, not to hit, roll me some damage. Uh, okay. We're going to start on the left arm, we're going to say. Yeah. 14. Um, hmm. Okay, uh, you get halfway through the arm. 
Yeah. See, my idea out of character is, well, we don't know if these are these guys are gonna Hulk out. If they do, I just hope they don't have any arms, because they they seem to only use their arms to attack. Correct. Maybe. Yes. Maybe. That's what it's, yeah. that's what we've used thus far. So <laughs> this uh, one over here used a winning smile, but yeah. Yeah, but I mean, it, if this is going to resurrect and Hulk out, no, I'm with you. Do if you it doesn't me? have yeah. arms, it can just like rub up against people. And hey, we're diversifying. Trying. Yeah, one we're thing, diversifying. You're trying another, and we'll see what works. That's right. gonna be doing 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 the Lena method. <laughs> yes. <laughs> just do whatever works. All right, Patrick, your turn. As um. You know what? Let's let's pull out a camera. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Uh, well, Tyrath did Holden. say, "Al, he... sorry, go ahead, uh, Tom." Tyrath did say he wanted information. <laughs> yeah, it's true. Yeah. All right. Um, Al is going to turn his attention to the green one. Okay. Okay. All right, so going for Blow the chest. chest. Oh, okay. All right. That's it. All right. Three points of damage. And okay. Nicking some of his plating. Again. That's a crit. All right. Roll double damage or double your roll, whatever you prefer. <laughs> I mean, well, that would roll it before. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, well, it would have been yeah, yeah before. So there we go. All right, uh, you just managed to nick at this one. You don't have mm -hmm. a good since it's facing Mila now, for whatever reason. Stupid Max Perry, you're not getting a good hit on good I hits on its chest. Certainly nick it. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Alicia's doing her thing. Mariah. That's me. All right. Um, That's you. I'm going to keep hitting this thing with my hammer. Okay. Okie dokie. Oh, boy. Oh, good job. Yeah. Was that a... Oh, that was a 17. Uh, it's not even going to parry that. At minus 8. It, it, it just can't. It just can't. <laughs> Poor thing. Uh, <laughs> don't feel that bad. It's going <laughs> to kill you. He's just like, All right. I give up. Oh, whatever. I guess I'll die now. Wait, I'll be better then. Quick, kill me! Anyway, um, it, uh, you crack more of its plating, um, starting to create fissures in its chest plate. Awesome. All right. Alicia's doing her thing. Top of the order, these things. Now I get to roll a dice. Uh, wait, if I do GM roll, can I only see it? Let's find out. Y yes, you should be the only one that can see it. Yeah. Did anyone see that? Nope. nope. I didn't see anything. Excellent. Everyone, tell him you didn't see anything. No. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> Very funny. Very funny. Al dies. He has a brain aneurysm. <laughs> he can't sit. <laughs> All right. That's fair. Um, Slips into a coma. <laughs> you start hearing digging noises behind you again, like th behind uh, where these dead bodies in that one live um, parksy is. You start to hear digging noises. Mariah. Oh, wait, uh, and the one in front of you, Mariah, is going to blindly swing at you. Okay. Not GM roll, because people can't see it then, Inferno. It's a secret to every... Oh. <laughs> he got a zero! Aww. <laughs> I think he's a hero. I do, too. Okay. <laughs> All right. Maybe it's, All maybe right. it's because he's a lovely green, but I think he's yeah. swell. He is swell. He's uh. Irish. <laughs> <laughs> Top of the morning. He's drunk. All right, potatoes. Anyway. Oh, Philly D potatoes. Philly D potatoes. Potatoes. No one hurts the lap. <laughs> All right, I'm sorry. That's All okay. right, your turn. Didn't I go? He, no. She swung at him. Oh, you swung at him. Oh, sorry. yeah, I did it while I was talking uh, about potatoes. He'll try and parry. Failing. He's doing oh. seven more damage. Ow, that's the top of me, Barney Stone. As, uh,. <laughs> Uh, a significantly large crack uh, opens up. Um, there's a, a chest plate over the left side of its body that uh, is now exposed underneath. You see more of a honeycombed of a, a yellowy uh, material, um, like a muscle in a sense, and, and less of a plating. 
Ugh. All right, I know. Sexy. I try to contain yourself. I know. All right, Al, your turn. I kind of imagine like Mariah and Al have like a um, uh, a rhythm going. Like if you've ever seen like the dwarves that are all hammering on a ring, like she hits, I hit. She hits, See that? I hit. Yeah. yeah. I was fucking passing by the street and saw two goddamn dwarves on the anvil just doing that. It's <laughs> <laughs> like Jesus Christ, guys, we get it. You're in sync. <laughs> All right, anyway. Uh, I'm going to do a call shot for the honeycomb area. All right. Uh, uh, same thing, minus two. You got uh, it. That's it. So got to get me some more of that sugar, Chris. No, wait, that's honeycomb. But anyways, uh, yeah, roll damage. All right. Uh, you claw at it, uh, tearing away some of that sinewy, muscly fiber. <laughs> Not quite finding, once again, that sweet, sweet blue-gray gold, well, also known as brains. Let's give All it right, another Tom. go, then. Oh, well, I was gonna... oh, wait, oh, yeah, sorry, sorry, I forgot you are doing your paired attack. My bad. Ooh, that one just barely hit. It did. Nice. Roll, uh... Six. Oh, Again. so close. You can start seeing it poking through the blood, mm. but you haven't found purchase of it yet. Tom! All right, I am going to still try and take Uh, off its left arm. Just roll damage. 18. Goodbye, left arm. It uh, falls onto the ground, yellow blood spurting from the hump, although at a slower pace considering its metabolism is slowing down because, you know, not being alive. Uh, Or did you say hippie? (laughs) Because it's a hippie. (laughs) All right, this one, this uh, Maparxi is going to take a blind slash at the thing in front of it. Hitting! Uh, You can parry, though, Mariah, if you like. Sure. It's going to be really, really, really easy. Actually, just don't roll a one. Yeah, I was going to say that's the only only way, which I kind of hope I do. (laughs) Okay, I didn't. No, you did the opposite. No damage. (laughs) All right, uh, still more. Just, you hear some digging noises, but it doesn't seem like you don't see the earth shifting uh, in front of where you are, the wall of dirt where you are right now. So it's clearly not that close, but you definitely hear digging noises. Al? Okay. Uh, it's not dead yet, right? No, it's still kicking. All right, well, I'm going to tell like that kicking chain. is rude, and I'm going to go for the... Uh, I, I, I can see the brain, so I know my target now. That's yep. a hit the called shot. Yep. Any damage that you do, minimum damage will kill it. So I don't know if you want to describe anything. Uh, actually, I do, if that's okay. Oh, okay. I of want course. to stab what? into the brain and twist yep. and pull. Oh, gross. So, like, you're pitting a fucking cherry? Exactly. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, you wow. do that, except instead of cherry seed, you have... Uh, you actually get a good chunk of this brain, and although it's covered in this yellow liquid, and it, well, luckily you're all in environmental armor, with the exception of Patrick, who can still smell things. I can. Um, it's, it smells very sharp and tart, like it's vinegar, right? Mm-hmm. Mm. And uh, it still swells a few times in your grasp. Uh, I can't say it's warm because you can't feel that through your armor. But uh, it is, how to describe it? Unlike a human brain that has these folds, it is completely smooth. Um, So no ridges, no folds or anything like that. It's a completely smooth mass. So uh, it's also dead. Now, we're going to kind of, we're going to semi get out of combat because the things digging aren't at you. But I'm going to give you guys, we're going to say, 30 second chunks to do stuff. All right? So I'll go from player to player. Say you want to do in this 30 second chunk of time. And then we'll move on to the next 30 second chunk of time until something else happens to resume combat. Sound good? Mm Mm-hmm. So let me put an X on this guy. All the single ma- maparxies, all the single maparxies. Oh, it doesn't work because the syllables don't work. Anyway, anyway, uh, all right. First three second chunk. So I'm gonna go just go from left to right. Tom, what you doing? Um, I'm gonna still be hacking away at this guy. Okay. Uh, the other arm, I take it, or the leg yeah. now. The arm. Okay. Roll damage. The other arm. 
yeah, fuck. Uh, it's, you, don't, you don't get a good shot on it. You're mostly hitting plating at this point. So mm -hmm. you'll need some more wax. Uh, but although, I mean, a melee is four attacks. So, you know, roll me damage like three more times, dude. Oh, okay. <laughs> you hacked Jeez. through it on the on the on the. Wait, the five is one. The ten is two. On the fifteen, so on the third hack, you managed to get rid of its um, arm. Mm -hmm. And uh, how many attacks for melee do you have? Four. Yes, four. So that's three attacks. So you still have five attacks left in which to attack its legs. I'm gonna add that twenty-two, which means you cleave that goddamn leg off. So. You can make this thing kind of a weird stumpy thing if you want with a yeah! few more damage. Yeah. Let's do it. So I have three more, right? Yeah. Yeah. On. Yeah. Really. Oh, there you go. Now you got it. There goes its leg. All uh, right. You still got a couple more attacks, for lack of a better word, but this thing is... His name is... Okay. <laughs> okay. You know what? <laughs> what do you kind of call a guy with no arms, no legs in the ocean? Bob? No. <laughs> what do you call a Max Perry with no arms and no legs in a cave? Fucked. <laughs> <laughs> I was waiting for a pun. I was curveballed. I was going to say stumpy. Um, oh, yeah, I you. No, 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 wait, wait, wait. What do you guys call a Maparxi with no, no arms and no legs in its cave? Doug. Wait. Oh, oh. Hey. Hey. Uh, hey. Anyways, hey. all right. Do, anyway, can I can I attack this thing? Uh, you have two more attacks, so sure. I will ha try and hack off its left arm. Okay. Yeah, you managed to just uh, finish off its left arm, and oh, my sword face. will go out. Oh, okay. Well, there you go. Perfect. All right. So during this uh, thirty seconds. Uh, Mariah, what would Mariah be doing? Uh, she would just be standing there looking. <laughs> gotcha. Okie doke. Uh, Patrick, what would Patrick be doing in these three-ish seconds? Um, let's see. There's digging and things like that. Um, I would ask to switch places with Mariah again. Okay, Whoop. she would comply. Mm -hmm. So, uh... I am then going to, I guess, closely examine uh, the brains or whatever it may, uh, whatever uh, exists of so it. You can do something with Al, I guess. Uh, yeah, I was going to say, it's shish kebobbed on my claws. You can just... Uh... I'm going to take a picture of it. Yeah. <laughs> okay. It's um, and... Um, after doing that, um, he's going to uh, see that that's happened, that happened, that happened. Um, he is now going to um, put away his camera, mm -hmm. uh, get a shotgun out, and mm -hmm. ask if, if everyone's ready for round two. Okay, Jack. And Al? Um... Hmm. Some of some of the seconds are burned with uh, Patrick taking a right. picture of the brains on your claw. Uh, a this sentence I never thought in the world I would ever say. To you, <laughs> uh, in this time period, does it look like the blood has done anything at all? Uh, it, other than pouring onto the ground? Yeah, no crystallization no, or anything? Uh, not yet. Not in this 30-second okay. time period. Uh, if you take glances at these bodies. You know... Al's going to do something a little odd. N thinking that fire actually kind of hurt them even in that form, he is going to take one of his signal flares, strike it up, and shove it into the chest cavity of this one, where the brain used to be. Roman 66. All right. Oh, oh, hello. That's five. Why is that five? There we go. 16. You would expect that the tip of the signal player flare, regardless of how hot it is, right, mm -hmm. the liquid, like blood, would um, stunt it, right? Mm -hmm. um, 
unless the liquid is clearly made of gasoline because it's going up like that, uh, the entire chest cavity hole is a torrent of flame. Luckily, the this is SDC fire, out of character, right? But luckily, the shielding of your handed gauntlet protects you from the hot blades, but it is roasting this thing alive. And Al will look at that and go, huh. Fascinating. You may want to do that to the other one. <laughs> well, now we're at 30 seconds. Oh. All right? Okay. So, um, I'm going to just describe this for a little bit, guys, and then we're going to shift back into uh, initiative. Okay. Uh, but, but indulge me in my descriptions, because I'm a whore. Um, so, uh, the blood uh, from the other two bodies, especially the ones with its limbs cut off, it starts to... Uh, the blood slowly... St it ends up stop pumping from their corpses. And sure enough, Patrick, you're definitely close enough to see actually really anyone, mm -hmm. um, is that sure enough, their blood starts to start this crystallization process until it becomes this spongy, solid material. And with that, the bodies begin to stir. The one without legs or arms really kind of moves its heads around, but the one with one arm starts to stand up. Nearly around the same time, you start to see the earth uh, by you, uh, where these bodies lay, it's starting to move. Now we're going to start initiative again. And we're going to just resume initiative. Uh, so it's going to be Bear, who's guarding himself, guarding things, waiting for instruction. I'm going to just kind of move these guys a little bit closer. Uh, and what we're going to do is this guy is being torch lit up like a Christmas tree. And I'm going to... Okay, you know what? I'm not going to waste time and put in the new icons. I'm just going to un-X this guy. And you know what? For all interpret purposes, Tom, you hacked off its arms and legs. It's not going to do anything. It's considered defeated for this. Okay. But this guy's still pretty good with his one claw. All right. Now we're good. 